I am Yasser, and my project is to implement and train the super resolution gun. So for this presentation, I will talk about the problem and the method used to solve it, the data set and the training process. Finally, the metrics used for evaluation and the results. The problem my project aims to solve is uh, the loss in information happening when upsampling a low resolution image. We want to upsample the 16 by 60 image to a thousand by thousand, but how? So uh, using the traditional image processing techniques still causes loss because they depend on the existing values to come up with the new, new ones. Unlike the deep learning, uh, learning approaches uh, that can hallucinate new values by training uh, on enough data or a big enough data set. So of course, we want to know why we, we need super resolution. Uh, in other words, why, why we need to upscale and enhance an image or an image. Uh, image super resolution have a lot of applications such as satellite image enhancement, face recognition, surveillance, and so on. So that's why uh, we need the super resolution techniques. For the methodology, the SRGAN method use, uh, utilizes two networks during the training. One to generate the upscaled image, also known as the generator network, and one to see how good is the generated images compared to the original high resolution image. Uh, the second network known as the discriminator network. So the generator uh, is, uh, is to generate images that could fool the discriminator and convince it that the generated image is actually the real image. So uh, our generator in this image is uh, the thief who print money and the discriminator is the policeman. So uh, the policeman uh, just compared between the real money and the one uh, provided by the thief. So he can uh, define either the money is fake or real. So the, the thief will improve his printing until he get like a very real, real looking uh, money. So he can fool the policeman. Uh, so the architecture of the generator network is as shown here contains B residual blocks which in my case is B is 16 uh, block, uh, 16 number, the number of blocks is 16. So we have 16 residual blocks. Uh, each co convolutional layer in the generator has a padding of time same, since we don't want the dimensions of the image to get smaller, but the opposite way, we want to upscale the image, not downscale it. And the two uh, last blocks, are responsible for upsampling. Each one doubles the size of the uh, input image. So uh, this one uh, like make the input image uh, the time two and this one uh, makes it time two uh, again. So we have uh, a total of time for uh, upscale. Uh, the, the architecture of the discriminator is shown here. Uh, several blocks of convolutional layers with batch normalization and leaky relu activation. Uh, after that, we have a fully connected layer with 1,024 units, and then a single unit layer with a sigmoid activation uh, to decide whether to decide whether uh, the generated image is good enough or not. For the data set, I have used the div2k data set for training and validating. The data set contains uh, 900 high resolution images and 900 low resolution image uh, images. The low resolution images are obtained by downsampling the high resolution ones using a bicubic bi interpolation. Uh, so the low resolution images are mainly the high uh, resolution images, but downscaled using uh, image processing uh, techniques. The training data contains uh, 800 images and the valid validating, validation uh, set contains 100 image. Uh, for this data set, we don't have uh, a test data uh, test set. So I, I have done the testing on the valid validation set. 
For the training, I first you train the SR ResNet, which is the generator network actually, without the discriminator for 1 million iteration. So uh, I take the generator and try and get training, trained it by itself for 1 million uh, iteration. Uh, that was mentioned in the uh, paper, so I did like they, they did. Uh, and this uh, actually took a lot of time. It was like around two days on a NVIDIA uh, 1080 Ti GPU. Then I used the uh, trained the SR ResNet as initial weights for the SR GAN and trained it for uh, additional 200,000 iterations. Uh, side by side with the uh, discriminator. So this time I, I, I was training the SR ResNet and the discrim discriminator uh, together. And that was like another day of training. Uh, I, the two networks, uh, I mean the discriminator and generator was uh, trained using Adam optimizer and uh, MSA uh, loss. In addition for the discriminator, there was the I forget to put it here, the uh, perceptual loss, which utilizes the VGG19 uh, to obtain the feature maps of the uh, high resolution image and the generated image, and uh, calculate the loss uh, uh, according to, uh, to the feature maps, not the pixel values. Here, uh, here we can see how the generated images evolve by time. So the, the one on the left is the original high resolution image and the, the one on the right are the image after some ep uh, epochs or some iterations. So we can see how it get better and better by time. Uh, for the evaluation matrix, I have, uh, I have used two uh, metrics, the peak, uh, peak signal to noise ratio and the structural similar similarity index measure. Uh, since the square, square mean square error is not uh, a good indicator for an image quality. So we can, as we can see in uh, this uh, graph, uh, also this have, uh, this all images have the same MSE, but the, SSIM measure is different. And for the worst one is this, and best SSIM is this one. That means it's very close to the original uh, image. In this case, is, this is the original image. Uh, for the rest of parts, uh, I, in order to make, make it clear, I am comparing the results of the SR GAN with one of the best interpolation techniques, which is the bicobic uh, interpolation. We can see that uh, that was this result was the average results of uh, the validation set, which contains a hundred image. Uh, we can say, uh, see that uh, uh, the SRGAN has a 7.4% increase in terms of PSNR and a 7.7 .7 increase in terms of uh, structural structural similarity. So that was